BigTractorPower.com is following the 2016 Western Kentucky Corn Harvest. Today we are out in the field with a Caterpillar Lexian 570R Combine equipped with a 16 row corn head. This combine was built by Gloss for Caterpillar back in the mid 2000s. And this will be an exciting machine to uh, watch out in the field and uh, climb up in the cab. So we hope that you'll enjoy this video. BigTractorPower.com is up in the cab of a Caterpillar Lexian 570R combine. This combine is running a Caterpillar C516 16 row 30 corn head. This is a class 7 combine and we had some questions on our YouTube channel about what makes a combine class 7, class 8, class 9 and there are also class 5 and 6 machines out there. And the difference is horsepower. This combine is powered by a Caterpillar C9 350 horsepower engine and it is actually very similar in actually the cleaning area and everything is the same as a Caterpillar 580 combine, it's simply just the horsepower, and then uh, we've also, on BigTractorPower.com, filmed a 595R running an 18 row 20 inch head, uh, which is the top of the 500 series. This model has a 300 bushel grain bin, we can see the corn pouring in here from the header. size 7 combines are not running 16 row heads as combines moving at about 4 miles per hour. The reason this farm chooses to run the big 16 row head on this combine is simply because it reduces the number of passes across the field and the wear and tear on the machine. This combine could be well suited to run an 8 row head and run 8 miles per hour across the field, but by running the bigger head at a slower speed they reduce the number of trips they have to make across the field and the amount of wear and tear on the machine because it is traveling just a little bit slower as it harvests the corn so it works out very well for this operation and it's definitely exciting to see this big header in action on the combine. The 570R model number indicates that the combine is a wheeled machine. This combine has dual tires on it for traction. If it was a 575R, it would have tracks as the option. So that's how Caterpillar and Kloss at the time decided to um, notate the differences in their wheeled and track machines. This combine is produced by Kloss uh, at the time in the mid-2000s for Caterpillar. Caterpillar has since exited the ag market, so today uh, Lexian combines are marketed in North America simply as Kloss machines, but they still uh, retain that Caterpillar yellow. Uh, for North America and over in Europe, they are sold in the traditional Kloss green and white.
Here we can see the Lexian 570R uh, approaching the GMC Brigadier dump truck ready to unload its 300 bushel hopper. Lexian has a 28 foot unloading auger which is helpful for this machine's 40 foot 16 row corn head to clear the header and reach out to the truck. The Lexian 570R specs say that it has a 2.8 bushel unloading rate. It is an option, and this combine has an option, to unload at 3.3 bushels per second, which is the same as the big Class 9 595R unloading rate, which we've also filmed for Big Factor Power. So it, hopefully this narration adds a little more detail for everyone and it, it's great to be able to share when a machine has an option like this class 7 model that bumps its unloading rate up to the 8 and 9 class uh, speed. It's amazing to see the scope and size of modern combines. Uh, you know, almost every machine on the market today that is built, whether it's a class six, seven, or eight, can handle a 12 row head, and that you can put a 16 row head on a class seven model like this, and definitely on the eights and nines. But it wasn't that long ago that many farms were using single axle dump trucks like this Brigadier from GMC, and basically this dump truck capacity is the entire capacity of the grain bin up on this combine. And at a rate of 3.3 bushels per second, it takes just about two minutes to move all 300 bushels of grain right out of the combine. One of the neat things uh, at Kloss Combines and many modern combines is that they have completely enclosed grain tanks. Here we can see the top opening up to allow the combine to hold its full 300 bushel capacity. Kloss was one of the first combines on the market to offer an enclosed grain tank like this. Going back to 1966 when Ford first started distributing Kloss combines in North America under the Ford name, they were the first combines in the country to have this feature of a closed bin and here we can see it closed up again. Those Ford Combines were also the first machines to offer headlights in North America so Kloss has a lot of history in the United States and Canada going back to the 1960s from Ford up to Caterpillar and now as Kloss alone. Here we can see the Caterpillar Lexian 570R with its 16 row Caterpillar C51630 corn head pulling up to a classic Brent Grain Train 910 grain cart pulled by a Voltra 8950 tractor. Voltra was sold in North America for several years and eventually acquired by Agco. Most of the Agco engines and combines and tractors today are built by Voltra. And they have a Sisu engine. The 8950 is a 200 horsepower tractor and it is well equipped to pull this Brent grain train, grain cart. It also pulls the farm's 16-row John Deere 7000 planter, 
You can see that in action on some of our videos from this spring. The Lexian 570R unloads at a rate of 2.8 bushels per second. And it's great to see all this golden corn pouring out of the combine into the grain cart.
Here we can see the Caterpillar Lexian 570R combine with its C516 16 row 30 inch head. Picking 40 feet of corn per pass. This is definitely a monster head and always exciting to see something this big and wide moving across the cornfield. Thank you for watching.